Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. This is Ninth Legion. Let's play some more Wharf Underground Forces, and we're going to take out the Panzer IV E again today. You may have seen quite a lot of this in the last episode we did, uh, where unfortunately my Panzer IV C didn't seem to last very long. Um, but yeah, just quickly, this is basically an up armoured variant of the Panzer IV. It has, if you see here, a hull armour thickness of 50 20 20 compared to the Panzer IV C variant having. 30, 15, 15, which is a big improvement and really does help this tank survive that little bit longer on the battlefield. Now, I don't see it registered on the stats here, but I swear the main gun reloads a lot faster as well, but possibly that's just my perception of it. But anyway, let's quickly dive into a uh, quick tank arcade battle and we'll see how we do. And here we go, we're back on the Mozdak terrain, which is where we were last episode, which was quite interesting, lots of wide open spaces. Now, unfortunately I don't have the heat ammo I have on the Panzer IV C, which is really good for long range penetration. No idling goes straight to A, says one of my teammates. Well that does sound like good advice. It's the only capture point we've got at the moment, just on the other side of that river. The river which the Panzer IV C had a little bit of trouble getting through last time. So we'll see how we do. I am going to miss having that heat ammunition. The penetration you could achieve with that was something amazing. But we've got some good armour piercing ammunition here. Good use of machine guns. Knock down a tree. And it looks like we are surprisingly leading the charge here. I didn't realise I was that close to the front of the line. But we'll do what we can. So I have to say, I've been playing a bit of World of Tanks recently. Uh, because mostly because World of Warships caught my eye, and I thought I'd check out what you know else they'd done. But I still prefer War Thunder, just for the way the tanks handle. World of Tanks, they just seem to throw the vehicles around, and they're so much faster. War Thunder, they feel a lot more solid. Oh god, there's the entire enemy team on my right hand side. Okay, so that was me knocking over a tree. And that was also me not really paying attention to where they're spawning from. Um, well, it's going to be long range fire, it's going to be fairly inaccurate. Well, let's put some snapshots out there, we've got 40 rounds of it, so... Whoa, that was close. Well, we're coming straight into the cap circle, which is good. Ooh, that was, uh, someone's blind firing there, really. Some kind of auto cannon. Yeah, obviously, artillery is hitting the cap circle. But we do seem to have this under control. What I want to do is not get blown up by artillery five seconds after starting the match. See if I can't swing around here and get into a bit of a defilade position from a lot of this fire which is coming in. I'm driving, I, I know I'm driving straight into that stream of fire there. It's not actually aimed at me, so... Okay, here we go. Can we hit that guy? Yep. Critical hit. We did almost get that T-28 ammo rack, which I would have quite enjoyed. There's another T-28 coming up straight at us here. Critical hit. I would have liked it if he'd been on fire, but uh, that wasn't to be, unfortunately. Good lord, this big open terrain is just... Wow. It's uh, it's pretty much death. Was that someone behind us exploding? No, okay, there was a tank behind us. But they haven't exploded yet. Let's keep moving up. We can get out this T-28 on our left. I swear I saw a shot there. Good lord, we just got hammered. Let's pull back a bit. steam feed is trying to tell me something. Come on, I need to keep this tank alive. I need to get a decent episode out of it. I swear they listen to me when I say stuff like that. Well, unfortunately, the heavier frontal armour wasn't able to help us. From Wow, that was one penetrating round there. Straight through our gunner. He's going to have a hole in the centre of his chest like you wouldn't believe. Well, let's take out the Panzer IV C and at least use those long-range heat rounds. Let's see if we can't do some good. 
Uh, we are quite a ways away from where the main fight is taking place, but we've got A quite firmly, and indeed our team have it fairly surrounded now. So the enemy team's going to have a hard time pushing through, and I want to get a nice overwatch position for some long-range heat rounds. Obviously, putting myself right on top of a hill in full view of the enemy team isn't such a great idea. But, they're not paying attention. Oh, he just burned down, I think. Let's swing around this way. See what we can see. There's an enemy aircraft somewhere overhead. There he goes. Junkers 87B. Okay. Well, we're going to start cresting in a minute, so we should probably start washing out for enemy tanks. There's an M3, 75mm gun. Hit on this engine block. Keep putting rounds in this guy. Got an assist there. There's a T28 moving. Ooh. That was something bouncing off the front armour. Doesn't appear to have caused too much major damage. And we've got a kill assist for something there. But I'm not sure what. Oh, there's an M204 coming right at us. Now we're going to... Yep, fine. You want to be like that? Have some... Have some machine gun fire. Come on, reload. Yep, he's down. That Stug is firing on us, though. Oh. Yes, it has. And we've been knocked out. I was hoping to get cover behind that rock, but unfortunately it was not meant to be. I do love the action replay here. Just so we can see how badly we died. Wow. Yeah, that killed pretty much everyone in one shot. And in fact, despite what I was saying earlier, it looks like all of our teammates who were at A have now been taken out. Which is a little surprising, because there were so many of them there. Lots of aircraft in play at the moment. And it looks like our last aircraft just went down. Well, we're far off a bit at them. We're not going to do much good. is turning back around. No. I thought he was going to turn in on us. But no, that guy actually seems to know what he's doing. We've got a flak panzer up here that's putting a lot of fire out there. He's behind us almost directly now. Well, we still... Well, we've, we've still got control of it. We're just capping it again now. That flak panzer can try to shoot me in my own turret. So yeah, this is a really cool map. I quite like it. It's very scenic. Lots of rolling hills, some good defilades. Not that I've been making any use of them, but the, you know, they're there, it's just I'm terrible at getting into them. Ooh, they are charging like hell across here though. Yeah, if you want to stop there, that's fine. I can, I'm happy for you to stop there and set your engine on fire. God damn it. Why is your ammo rack down a bit? Just missed. Okay, well, he's down. There's a T26 over here. I could have sworn that was a hit. Damn it. He's behind a tree. Okay, let's uh, turn our attention to the main fight. That T-34... Uh, huh. Yeah, I'm not really going to do much against the T-34, I don't think. Yeah, my shots are pretty much just bouncing straight off the guy. That T-34 is going to cause us a lot of trouble. 
You know, if I had a tank with some actual heat rounds, I might be able to do a bit better. But right now, it's not going to happen. I'd have to get a lot closer to that T-34. And, you know, no one really ever wants to get that close to a T-34. Not when you're in a tank like this. Yeah, we're doing very little damage here. Something is rumbling right next to me. Can't even penetrate his under armor. That's uh that's impressive. Okay, we're just gonna keep pumping rounds into this T thirty four. You can imagine how terrifying it would have been. Wah! There's that plane again. How terrifying it would have been to go in up against a T thirty four in something like a Panzer II or a Panzer III. Completely outclassed. Is that a bomb? I, I hear a bomb whistle. Oh, okay, yep, there's a stick of bombs over that way. Oh, good lord. Those are some big bombs. Well, unfortunately, we have lost the A point. Quickly get some repairs in while we're in defilade. Okay, we're, uh, we're as repaired as we're going to be. That T-34, though, is still out there, I think. Kind of terrifying. Oh, hang on. I, f I believe the T-34 is actually dead. Yes, the T-34 is dead. Fantastic. Right. Well... I'm going to do what I was trying to do before and see if I can't nuzzle up to this rock. Use it as a bit of cover. There we go. So, what have we got here? Panzer Force C. That was a bit off target. That was a bit off target. That penetrated, but didn't do a great amount of damage. No more luck there, though. There was a BT-5 making a run through it across the field. Got to try and lead this guy. Oh, he's... Okay, he's uh, spun himself out a bit there, really. Good lord. Yeah. Okay, we are sort of stuck. I'm pressing reverse, but I'm actually creeping very slowly forward, which is a bit of a problem. We might have to accept our fate here, gentlemen. Uh, unfortunately, we took a bit too much damage there and couldn't get out of the way. So my plan of hiding behind the rock went out the window. We absorbed a surprising amount of shots, though, before they finally destroyed us, but... Uh, Yes, there wasn't much more we could do there. Unfortunately, we are now out of respawns for this. We've gone through three tanks. We have retaken A, though. We've got this Panzerkampfwagen 38 for 230cm Flak 38, ready to take on any enemy aircraft that show up. Got the American light tank M204. Uh, a light tank M3. He's been moving in quickly as well. I think this guy might be a little bit stuck. And a Stug 3. I believe that's is using the chassis of a Panzer 3. Using it to mount a casement. Um, 75mm low velocity gun. I believe it's 75 centimeter, uh, 75 millimeter. Could be wrong. I'd have to check that. I haven't actually unlocked this yet. Got a 
Soviet T-50 moving up. Trading fire of someone. A lot of machine gun rounds skipping past this guy there. We are very, my team is very close to winning, but unfortunately, I'm out of vehicles and can't help them, and we've lost the cap point. So that's a bit of a shame. This guy, wow, got uh, quite badly annihilated. Looks like he was trying to get to the cap point as well. There's actually uh, some kind of anti aircraft vehicle shooting at him. I'm surprised the tank show didn't take that out one hit, but. There we go. Looks like he got him moments before his turret blew off. Which is a little bit exciting. T28. Trading fire of something I can't quite make out. Now the T28 is quite interesting because it's just got so many machine guns. You've actually got these two front mounted machine guns in their own independent turrets. A turret mounted machine gun on the front next to the main gun. And another rear machine gun on the back of the turret. Uh, earlier Soviet tanks really liked having a lot of machine guns. This is primarily because they were meant to be used as infantry support vehicles to support breakthroughs of heavy defences like trenches. In the First World War, this kind of tank would have been amazing. Unfortunately, the Second World War wasn't going to be its field day. And I believe that the T-28 in particular suffered a lot because it had a lot of mechanical reliability problems simply due to the fact it was so complicated with, you know, three turrets and uh, four machine guns and a cannon. Oh, and he has been set on fire. I wonder if he's got any firefighting equipment in there, because he's going to need it. It's also worth mentioning that tanks like these are also terribly cramped inside. They're not that much bigger than a standard tank, but you've got extra crewmen. You've still got a driver, you've got two machine gunners up front, you've got a loader, um, you've got the commander, you've got the gunner. It was There are very very cramped tanks, and uh, yes, unfortunately he is really on fire now. Yeah, I don't think anyone's getting out of that. Another light tank M2A2 with an auto cannon and another turret mounted machine gun. Again, one of the early, well, pre war multi tank, multi turret tanks you see that came out of World War One, but never really proved to be very useful. They just had a lot of space and reliability problems. He's taking some fire from the side there. I think most people are now starting to run out of tanks and are falling back on their starting vehicles. So we're going to probably see a fair number of these light tanks from now on. He's getting shot up by an aircraft, which again tried to ram him. I'm not sure if that was intentional or not. Sometimes you do get a bit caught up in the moment, you know, trying to get in and take the kill. But I'm fairly sure a plane versus a tank is never going to turn out well for the plane. Looks like this is a serious charge on the A point here, though. Taking a lot of fire from the side is a light Soviet tank moving up. He's got at least two or three, possibly even four tanks shooting at him. But our team is so close to winning, if he can get into the cap point just long enough to hold it, this game will be over. Even calling in artillery on him in desperation. Well, he's inside the cap circle, and there doesn't appear to be anyone here to contest it. So now all he's got to do is stay alive. And while she's spinning around like that, isn't probably going to help. There's yeah, I think he just got shot in the engine compartment and is now dead, which means that the enemy is now capping the circle. That was a shame, that was a very brave run there. Looks like there's a number of enemy vehicles here. We have the pink blue, that's a Panzer 38, and a Stug 3. And this, uh, this might be the last player on our team, actually. Yes, our team has lost all of its vehicles, so we're down to one light tank M2A2. Which is a shame, we came so close to holding the circle, 
holding the cap and winning the match. Uh, but now this one light tank has got to make a mad dash. He's got aircraft on him. He's got tanks on him. I just I can't see it happening. Unless this, this is one of, them, one of those uh, epic comebacks of all time. Ooh, that plane tried its best. There's a lot of artillery and planes coming in on this guy. He's juking and diving all over the place, but it's uh, it's not really working. That uh, looks like he's taken a lot of damage now. See enemy tanks cresting the hill in front of him, and yeah. I think he's done. No, we've still got one more tank. A standard light tank M2A4. Unfortunately, he's already taking fire immediately as he spawns. So this is probably going to be pretty quick. There's bombs right next to him. I don't think he's going to survive that explosion. Oh, just... There we go, enemy dive bomber coming in. Bombs are away. Oh good lord, that's right in front of him. Can he make it back? Has he seen it? Has he knocked out? Oh. Somehow, still going. Even though it must be taking tons of damage. Kind of can't stop watching, though. Oddly fascinating to watch this one tank face off against what looks to be most of the enemy team. And he might be dead now. Looks like he might be completely done. They have stopped shooting at him which would be a start. And there we go. The match is over. That was quite a long one. Sorry for that. Uh, how did we do? Uh, terribly. 12th place. Not very good at all. Uh, we did open a battle trophy though. And we got some more in-game cash. So that's not terrible. So overall we got 6 assists but no kills despite using all three tanks that we had available to us. So yeah, four critical hits, mostly with the Panzer IV E, but not a great match. Despite a strong start, we uh, failed to keep hold of it, failed to keep our heads, failed to keep our tanks, and suffered for it. But anyway, I hope that was uh, slightly enjoyable. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave a like, leave a comment and subscribe, and I will see you later. Bye.